In my last video, I talked about how using liquidity sweeps is one of the biggest things I've done for my trading that has helped me minimize losses and increase my probabilities when taking trades. I thought this would be a perfect time to backtest, take you guys through a backtesting session uh, using a platform that I absolutely love. I think you all need to check this platform out. It's the best backtesting software that there is hands down. And you guys have been requesting that I do a lot of backtesting videos. So I'm gonna start bringing backtesting videos into the channel. I think you guys are gonna grow from this a lot. We're gonna take one of ICT's uh, classic entry models mixed with liquidity concepts, and hopefully you guys will be able to take away something from this video and apply it into your own trading. So without further ado guys, it's been your boy Mac. Let's jump onto the charts. And if you do enjoy, please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe. We're on the way to 40,000. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so thanks for meeting me over here on the charts on FX Replay. I am very, very excited to be doing a back testing video on this platform. I think it is literally the best back testing platform that there is hands down. It's not even funny. Uh, I'll talk more about this later in the video, but what I want to do in this video is backtest with you guys um, ICT's entry model, one of ICT's entry models. Um, I personally use an entry model very similar, uh, but this model, all you're really doing is identifying a draw on liquidity. Once that draw on liquidity has been taken out, then what you're going to want to do is look for a break of structure to the downside, leaving a fair value gap or imbalance retrace back into that order block to then take price to the opposing uh, liquidity pool, right? So for example, on the higher time frame, um, you can see over here that this is a perfect time actually to talk about this video because in my previous video, you guys heard me talk about how liquidity itself has helped me take way less losses and has improved my win rate drastically. This is because by using liquidity concepts, ITT concepts, whatever you want to call it, um, you're able to get in after the purge or the stop hunt has happened. And that's honestly when we want to be entering the market anyway. We, we only want to be selling after we've taken out an old high and we only want to be buying after we've taken out an old low. And just quickly showing you guys this, uh, you can see that's exactly what happens here, right? You can see if we mark out this buy side liquidity pool over here, once it was rated, then we went in the other direction. Then once we took out this sell side liquidity pool, we went in the other direction. Then once we took the buy side liquidity pool here, we went in the other direction. And it's honestly like clockwork and this helps a lot with my with my bias. And this is, this is honestly one of the biggest things I use in terms of finding my daily bias uh, is determining where I think the next liquidity pool is going to be, right? So for example, if we're looking over here, we've taken this low, for example, okay? So we had a major run up into this area. I personally think that we're going to come up into this area. We have a nice imbalance here that has not been filled yet and we have this nice hourly order block, okay? So say I think the market is going to come up into this area, uh, which would make what? This would make this a liquidity, this would make this an inducement high, right? So early people got in here. Yes, you can easily trade this, uh, but I personally would like to see this high get taken out, right? So the beauty thing about FX Replay is it's like we're trading the live markets without trading the live markets. And the thing I love about it is we're using the trading view charts, right? So a lot of these old backtesting softwares, it looks like they were made in the 1900s. Um, and that's because I personally don't like using the uh, MetaTrader platform. Uh, so having the trading view charts is, is absolutely key. You can go down to the M1, M1 timeframe, whatever, and it's just unbelievable. And I'll show you guys how I enter trades and stuff like this on this. Uh, but for example, say I'm chilling on the 15 minute time frame and it is now later, right? So this is Asia session, the yellow, blue is London and uh, orange is whatever color this is, is New York. And I only wanna be taking trades uh, personally in New York session, I'm a New York session trader. So the, the cool thing about this is you can just literally, uh, you can literally just fast forward, okay? So whatever time frame you want to be on is what it'll fast forward on, okay? So for example, the hourly, you can see right now we are in Asia session and then I want to wait until price takes this high. Um, but more importantly, I wanna see it get taken out um, in the key session. So London session, uh, I wanna see a stop hunt in London session, which is very, very nice. I don't really trust uh, Asia session stop hunts, uh, but the, uh, the entry model that we're essentially going to be using today is, for example, we have this draw on liquidity here. We're gonna come up, we're gonna take the draw on liquidity. We're gonna have that break structure. Then we're gonna come up into a premium of the leg to then take it to the uh, opposing liquidity pool, right? So if we've taken buy side, we're gonna be looking to take it into sell side liquidity, right? 
So now that we are in London session here and we have now taken this high, I'm just going to jump to the 15 minute time frame and start to uh, kind of fast forward this bad boy, okay? So you can see we're at 515 now. And now when I'm looking at this right now, we've rated buy side liquidity. We didn't quite come into this order block, but if you look, if I were to um, just remove this for a second, you can see that of this price leg, um, we, we are definitely in a premium of the leg, right? So we wanna be selling up in a premium, buying down in a discount. We've rated this, I am anticipating the market to come down lower, and uh, this is our new price leg that we're playing within, right? So from this area here, all the way down here. And if we look on the five minute time frame, you can see that we swept liquidity to the left. We did just make relative equal highs, but we did sweep this. Uh, we ran buy side to the left over here as well, and then we had a strong break below. So we had that break of structure, right? We had uh, this kind of, this motion, right? Where we take the liquidity, then we have the clean break, and now we're anticipating a run up higher to take it lower, right? And this price is fractal, so you can do this on the 15 minute time frame, you can do this on the five minute time frame. that's the beauty thing about it. You can do it on the one hour time frame. it's entirely up to you. Uh, price is fractal, so the same entry, uh, the same entries that you're seeing on the, the five minute, the 15, they happen on the hourly, the four hour, the daily, the 15 second. It all depends. Obviously, the higher the time frame, the more valid the break is, in my opinion. A break of structure for me on the five minute, the 15 is way more valid than a break of structure on the M1 uh, or something like that. But let's just take a look here. This is the area we want to be looking to uh, sell in, right? This series of up candles here before the big move down, taking out these people, inducing buyers before running lower, right? You can see over here, we also have Asia lows. We have all these lows over here, right? This is one of those entries, guys, where you can literally have your sell limit anywhere within these series of up candles. Because if we look on the 15 minute time frame here, we have this nice 15 minute order block over here that causes this imbalance. And um, if we look on the hourly time frame, we can see this nice rejection candle that swept and caused a lower low here uh, between the hourly time frames. We broke below this low and closed below. So all higher time frames are painting the, the beautiful picture that we are going to take prices lower, right? So in this instance, obviously you can refine and use the uh, extreme order block if you do want to. The problem with this is yes, you do get the better risk reward, but a lot of times, especially when we do have a nice decent size imbalance like this, you're going to get swerved and you're gonna miss. And it's entirely up to you if you wanna do that. What I like to do to prevent uh, swerving is use ICT's OTE tool. So using the Fibonacci, then using the uh, settings 79, 705, and 61.8. And uh, use, you can use any of these. I personally like to use the 705 or the 79 because I feel like they do get hit a lot of the time and you do have that better risk reward. And it, it's great when it lines up with the imbalance caused by the order block, right? It's, it's just another confluence, okay? So if we wanted to take this trade, let's say we wanna use the 79 and we have our stop loss above this high and you have your trade idea all planned out, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is click the reward, the RR tool like I just did, you're gonna go over to place order. And the cool thing about FX replay is it calculates all this for you. I'm using the 200K account. So you can see that with 1% risk, obviously it's a 2K loss. And then it calculates your estimated profit based on where your uh, take profit is. So absolutely love it. We got the sell over here. We got the limit. You can use market execution if you do want. And then you can see that we have a pending order. So now all I'm gonna do is fast forward and you can see that we are tagged into this trade. We're in a little bit of drawdown. And uh, yeah, we're in, the, we're in the trade live. And the, the thing I love about this guys is it adds a little bit of emotion and I, it could just be me, but I've talked about talked to my other friends as well who use this platform and something about having the data and wanting to improve, you take this so much more serious and I'll show you guys at the end of the video, all the data that this tracks and how amazing it is. It tracks your days of the week, all that stuff, the, the best times of day. It's just great. Your session that you do the best in and uh, you, you literally can have that come out on an Excel doc as well if you want. So it's just it's just an amazing, uh, amazing platform. And uh, I can't wait to just show you uh, more about it as the video goes on. But you can see we start to break to the downside here, which is very, very nice. And we're gonna fast forward this. So now, as you can see, we are coming into uh, New York session. We're coming into the kill zone. So now we have had a nice London move heading into New York session. So now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is jump with the momentum uh, on the way to this sell side liquidity target over here. Okay, okay. so I'm just going to delete this for a second here. And now we have a new, uh, we have a new price like that has been created uh, in the New York kill zone, right? So if we're using this high down to this low, 
this is our new area that we can look for cells in. We're just following the, uh, the supply, right? Here to here, and now we have this area over here that mitigated this order block, causing a move. We also had a break of structure below this low and the short-term lows, okay? But you can see the difference in momentum, right? For example, look right here. We have the corrective price action before the drop, and then right here, we have the corrective price action before the drop. So what I wanna see here is some sort of corrective price action into these levels here to then take the market lower, okay? So that's really what I wanna see. We wanna see displacement, that's the whole kind of, uh, that is the bread and butter with this setup. It's a run on liquidity, a key liquidity pool, and then displacement below the low, leaving behind an imbalance. We come up corrective into that area, either the order block or the imbalance, it's entirely up to you, and then we take price lower. Okay, so that's kind of the, the ICT bread and butter setup here. I'm going to put an entry here at the 705 just because there isn't a big difference between the two. Obviously, we're in this position here in London session, but if you were a New York trader like myself, I don't take trades until eight o'clock usually. Uh, this is another setup that could be put, could be providing here shortly. And again, you can see the, the very, very corrective price action, right? It's, this is very, very important. We wanna see corrective price action as we're coming into our uh, area. Um, it, it To me, it helps the, the strike rate immensely. Um, if, if we're coming into my area extremely hard with a lot of momentum, a lot of the times, if I take that trade, it's going to be a loss. Whereas if we come in super, super corrective, we're building that liquidity in the favored direction. It makes the trade a lot better, in my opinion, okay, based on my own data. We have a nice little fair value gap over here as well, which is nice. So let's just say we want to take this trade within this area here. And then your, your stop loss just has to be above this new high here. Because if we do come up here, I think we're going to raid the high target that London low, right? We're anticipating London low to be the target and then we have Asia lows down here as well, okay? So now I'm going to set another pending the exact same way. It's gonna calculate it all for us. And let's see if we get tagged into this trade. Again, very, very nice corrective price action. Will we get tagged in? No, so we ended up getting swerved on this trade, but that's okay, okay? So if I did use the 61 on this entry, then we would have been fine, but you can see that we did come into the OTE, okay? So if we did use this area here, we would have been in this trade, but it, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. We came very, very close, and uh, I'm going to cancel this limit here, okay? I just canceled my trade that I was in over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, but you guys get the gist of it. It's 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 unbelievable, and I'm, I'm, I'm super, super grateful. You can see that we did close this trade. Uh, if I take this over here, we close this trade at a 3.2R, which who was complaining about that? And you can see, if I click this up over up arrow right here, I go over to close positions, you can see that the RR actually was at 2.64, um, which isn't the greatest, but isn't bad at all by any means. You guys obviously know I closed this by accident. And then the, the realized PL was $5,000. So nice, nice trade, okay? So let's just see if this would have went lower, if we fast forward more. Yeah, so this thing ended up dropping for a nice one to five, and then this position ended up dropping for uh, almost a one to five as well, okay? So again, just using our concept of liquidity and then mixing in the ICT entry model, it provides us with some amazing opportunities, right? The same is gonna go for the opposing direction, right? So say we run sell side liquidity like this over here, you can see that the market will tend to reverse and look for counterparty liquidity, right? So this exact same entry model can be uh, used obviously in the opposing direction where we come in like this, we take this, and then we have a strong break structure above, correct the price action into the area to then take the market higher into the opposing direction. Uh, so yeah, that is the little back test that I wanted to show you guys just using liquidity concepts to then uh, look for entries, right? And, and it's a big part of my entry model personally. Uh, I'm not going to go into that too deeply, uh, but the the ICT entry model is is great. And, and all you wanna do is point out where you think the market is going to take liquidity from, and then that's where you wanna look to enter, right? We don't wanna be entering in the middle here. We wanna be entering at the extremes, the premium and the discounts. And when, when we're entering after taking out major buy side liquidity, and we think the market is gonna go in the opposite direction, we're entering at a major premium um, because that new leg that we're anticipating to go lower, we're entering at the top, right? We're getting in with the move after we take out uh, people. So that kind of backpacks onto the video that I did last week. Um, but let's jump into the 
uh, kind of analytics here, okay? So if I were to go back and we were to look at my own analytics here, um, you can see that I've been using FX Replay personally for a long time, a long time. And uh, you can see the amount of trades that I've taken on this. Uh, I've traded for over 351 days on here, price action 38 days here. And uh, let's just let's just pull up um, my back testing on um, EU over here, okay? So let's just say we pick up analytics here. You can see that I had a 69% win rate here. This is trading a very, very similar strategy to the one I just showed you. Um, if we if we scroll down, you can see all the analytics over here. You can see um, Tuesday, I don't do the greatest on Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, I had a much better, uh, much better risk reward. Um, Thursdays were decent, and then Fridays were pretty good. Okay, so with this knowledge, I don't with this data here, you can kind of make um, you can make your trading plan and see what you do the, what days you do the best on. And that's what I love about it. You can see over here as well, if we were to check out the analytics on this one over here, you can see that I had a 40% win rate, not bad at all, not mad about this. You can see I started out with some losses and we broke to the upside. I love this because it shows the percentages. So I only back tested January on this one. So then it shows your uh, percentages each month throughout the year, which is really, really cool. It's got the days that you did well and it's, I'm just, I just love this platform. And the, the cool thing about FX Replay, obviously, is the fact that they have a Discord server as well. So they hear us. They hear our questions. They hear our suggestions. And they go and implement it. And it's it's just truly the best backtesting software that I've used, hands down. Uh, I'm grateful enough to be partnered with FX Replay. And I have been given a link that can get you guys 15% off using this code. I'm going to put the code on here as well. It does help me. I do get kickback from this. Uh, so you'd be supporting me as well as supporting FX Replay, but I, I, I appreciate if you are able to do that and I get you a nice 15% discount off, which which who doesn't love that? So I will be doing more backtesting videos uh, with different types of strategies. I think that'll be kind of a cool little series that I can do. And uh, yeah, this video obviously could have been way longer. I'm trying to make it as short and sweet as possible uh, while sharing everything about this site. It's incredible, I absolutely love it. You guys can see I've been using it for a super long time. If I go to like one of my old strategies over here, um, where was this price action? Actually, let's go and uh, click analytics on this one, for example. And uh, you can see that we took seven trades over here with a 29% uh, return, 100% win rate. This was a great time, clearly. And if we look over here, um, this was done in December of last year. So. What you can do as well is you can backtest the week before. So you can backtest the week that had just happened or the previous two weeks so that if you did miss setups or you want to get back into the groove for the week ahead, you, you can do that. And uh, yeah, I just, I was excited to make this video. Shout out to FX Replay. I, I absolutely love the platform and I'm so, so happy to be working with them. And uh, drop a like guys if you do want to see more of these. But just a reminder, you have to use the link and uh, yeah, I can't wait to do more of these videos. So. What do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day, guys. I appreciate you. I hope you learned something and I will see you all on Sunday. Take care, everyone.